remembrance for those lost at the hands of crime. Baltimore County hosted this year's Maryland Statewide Memorial Services today at Catonsville High School. ABC 2's Nadia Singh tells us why the event is so important for crime victims and their families. Nadia. Well, Mallory, first of all, for some, it helps continue the grieving and healing process. Over 2,200 people murdered in the northern region of the state since 1985 were honored today. This year's theme, strength, resilience, and justice. Three things families left behind are all searching for. I just want to kill the staff. With notes, pictures, music, and prayers, families remember the loved ones lost to murder. I'm not the only one that's going through it, and um. And it's real important because I just want to keep my brother memory alive. For the last 28 years, the state honors those who've been murdered throughout Maryland. Uh, bring back memories. That was my brother. Yeah, he got murdered and two years ago. And um, I just, I miss him. Her story is similar to many here. Robin Grant lost her son and brother within just months of each other. For her, this helps with the healing. It's a good thing that we all can all come together as one and represent our loved ones. My son, Charles Lee Morton, and my friend, Michael Lee Farrell. It even allows families another chance to pay tribute and grieve together. It's a lot easier to talk to somebody that actually knows exactly what I'm going through. Baltimore County State's Attorney Scott Schellenberger hosted the event. He says these stars represent thousands of murder victims, and while their cases are mostly closed, it's never over for the families. We're here today to have family members who have to live with this tragedy every day for the rest of their lives. Um, we're here to honor them and honor their loved ones. Those families grateful for their recognition. It makes me feel wonderful to see that all these people are actually out here. The event acknowledged victims from Baltimore City and Baltimore, Anne Arundel, Cecil and Howard counties. Today's memorial coincides with the beginning of National Crime Victims Rights Week.